My name is Allison Cook. I am a clinical imaging specialist for GE Healthcare. Hello, my name is Janelle Pinto, and I'm also a clinical imaging specialist for GE Healthcare as well. We're here today to talk about spinal positioning. We are going to start by setting up for a true AP position for one of our pain management cases. If you look at the system here, our goal is to pull the CRM in perpendicular to the patient who is lying prone on the table. When we're securing our image, we want to make sure that the patient's body part is centered as well as using collimation to help reduce dose. We are working on a true AP. Your spinous processes are in the center of our screen. We get those in the center by using your oblique lock to move that back and forth until they are rotated completely in the center. Next we have our end plates. Our end plates are here, the solid lines going across. We want to make sure that that is a sharp line, and if it's not, that is where you would use your cranial or caudal locks to line those up. You will see as she goes back and forth, that disc space is either foreshadowed or it's nice and open. Next, we're going to move over to our obliquity lock, which is going to help us get those spinous processes right in the center of the screen. You will see as we go side to side here, our angle is oblique. Spinous processes right there are perfectly in the center. Working with our pain management physicians, our goal is to get them a true lateral image of the spine. Working with this image here, what we did to acquire it, the patient was prone, we utilized our linear collimation, and we made sure that their body part was right in the center of the image. In this position, we want to make sure that the lumbar vertebrae's body is in a true lateral. What we are looking for is a square. As you go up the spine here, you'll notice a bit of shadowing or a half circle. This is showing that we are not in a perpendicular position and we need to adjust the locks on the C-arm until we see that the lumbar body is in a true lateral square position. We're going to be focusing on L4, which is here. As you can see, there's a bit of an ellipsis at the bottom portion, and we want to alleviate that by utilizing two things. We want to move our wigwag lock, and we want to move our base so that it stays centered in the field. As we move, we are trying to get this line at the bottom as straight as possible. 